holidays are quickly approaching. Here to help us get our Christmas tree ready is DIY expert, our friend Cynthia Moreno. Welcome, Cynthia. Hello again. You're looking Thanks very festive and Thank fun you, today. Thank you, I tried. So when it comes to DIY, you're, yeah. you're basically a master. And today you're going to show us oh, three yeah, great like ways that. to spruce <laughs> up our yeah. Christmas trees. Now, we were talking before the break. I'm a fan, I'm, and I have no uh, shame in saying it, of the artificial tree. I just feel it's, 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 uh, what are you talking about? It's eco-friendly. It's a better investment. You don't get pine needles. The dogs don't pee on it. A lot of reasons. <laughs> okay. Right? So this is a trick question for me because I actually have both in my apartment. Oh. So I in an artist, apartment? Yeah, in an apartment. Wow. Oh, I have a lot of trees. I will, I, too many. It's like a forest. It is a little bit like a forest because I like to put my fake tree up November 1st. There you go. And then you can't beat the smell of a real tree, so me and my husband get a little one. They got candles for that. And yeah. I like what we're looking around. You say one tree doesn't have to be enough, and no. we're going to show you at home three great ways. So start us off. What's our first tree okay. we're going to look at? Okay, so this is a huge trend right now and hasn't for the last few years. It's a faux flower tree. And so basically, it's really great because it's just oh, flowers, so it's super kid-friendly or toddler-friendly because you're not going to break any ornaments. Yes. And the best part is all the flowers are completely Mariah, reusable. So you can wait for that good sale. So it's like a big, it's like a big bouquet. It's like a big bouquet and it's so cute. And I Look think it just makes such a nice impact. And there you go. It's and like and guess what? Artificial. <laughs> Listen, hey. I sent Mario a video last year of all my pine needles. He goes, I told you who yeah, exactly. <laughs> this okay. is really cute. You could do whatever color theme you yeah, wanted. Color theme. Oh, so you can either do, so I ombre this one, or you can just do like a multicolor yeah. or change it around. And if you have this, you can use the same flowers every year and then just do a different pattern. Okay. Okay, that's, I could see in like Fun. an entryway yeah. or whatever. Yeah. This one. <laughs> Are we coming here first? Because I yes. this I want to be like in my kids' oh, room. Oh, look at this! This is like a wonderland. It's like of a little joy. snow globe yeah, tree so right there. This is pretty magical. This is a candy oh, theme tree. This is great. Uh, it's would all love candy yes, goodness. This is, oh some wow! Pastels. Look at these are fun little decorations because yeah. you don't have to be traditional. You know what this is? No, this is tremendous. Fun. Tremendous. Oh, tremendous. Hey, dad joke. <laughs> 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 also, I think any kid would love to have this in their right? room, right? I, I feel like it's Dr. Out. Seuss, right? Absolutely. Um, it's the Who from Whoville tree. And the Fun. best part is I have some DIYs for you, and they're super kid-friendly as well. Kids okay. could so do first, this, yeah. let's start with the cute candy ornaments. Okay. So they're basically just styrofoam balls that we painted, and then you're just going to wrap them like an actual candy. So you basically just like roll, roll, Boom. roll, okay. and twist. So okay. it's this cellophane paper that makes That's it, it so cute. There it goes. And All you right. have candy. There and then you need to have a tie. That you I did you one can do big it like one. this too. You can <laughs> do a little. <laughs> we, did, we, did, we did. We did. We did. You and I. Yeah. More and I both did a, a jaw drink. What's yeah, it called? Yeah. Jawbreaker. Jawbreaker. And then you can just tuck them in your tree. Yeah. Exactly. Wherever you want. Right there. That is Perfect. so cute. Put it right there. There we go. Oh, that makes me so happy. And then this is one of my favorites, the cotton candy. Oh, the candy. cotton candy. Aww. See, my kids would try to eat this. <laughs> <laughs> so basically all it is is glitter paper, and then you just roll it up, add a little bit of styrofoam, and then you just spray paint some batting and just glue it on. Oh, this is and cute. That's it. And, and then you just stick it in? Oh, yeah, this yeah, looks stick good. It in. Look at this. Okay, look wait. At look at your cute tree. Oh, you can look at it. It's hanging oh, right there. So easy. This I'm is just great. thinking Instagram, this tree I mean, Mario. Can right? you imagine it's with so, all the stuff? So good. Easy. Okay. Then we have a super kid-friendly tree. This is the toy tree. So Frost toys, is big, I see. Yeah. So <laughs> toys are super expensive, and sometimes your kids just outgrow them. Uh -huh. And so this is a great way to like kind of make them more like sentimental. You right. can just make their uh, ornaments or their toys into ornaments. I like this giraffe rocking a scarf. He's pretty cool, Especially rocking a scarf, like right? if they had a favorite toy, then they outgrow. But you can right. always save it. Absolutely. I love all the sentimental stuff. From year stuff. to year, you can put it up. No. And also, I think what kid wouldn't love to decorate their own little toy? Right. So if you just go to the craft store, or the dollar store, they have Cute. like a little mini village Christmas area, and there's a ton of embellishments you can get like Christmas lights and wreaths and <laughs> little box toys so if you just take this hook you can hook it right there look at this giraffe my giraffe is rock like, he's like in New York chilling <laughs> look at right he's pretty snazzy he is snazzy he's this is snazzy. a hip giraffe wait so look you took the dump truck and you just added yeah, some, little some presents. presents in there that, that's adorable so you can even take look at my giraffe animals. though my giraffe's like the MVP right here look in at the little tree. <laughs> <laughs> what did you add to this one? Oh, just like a little Christmas tree and some like little Christmas lights. And oh, then yeah. you could just tuck them in. You know what? I hate wasting stuff. Uh, me too. And then, so and do you just spray them with a the little stuff? Is this a little spray glitter or what do we use? Yeah, yeah, we can oh, spray glitter. You could um, just do a little bit of glue. And also I think most of the stuff, I think kids would totally have look a blast at, A tree within a tree. <laughs> and then put the pterodactyl in Yeah, him. there you Perfect. go. Perfect, I look love it. This. And then how do we hang these? What are you using? So either you can just use some fishing line, or most of these you can kind of just tuck into your tree. I didn't even barely use anything to hang on all these because they all, you know, trees have like all those branches. You yeah. can just fit all the little toys inside. Not only do you look adorable today, this was so much fun. What wow, great ideas nice for job. all of you. 
Ooh, Very so clever. Fun. Thanks Listen, for, for me. more great DIY projects you can do at home, just head over to the Hot Pink Pineapple social media That's channel. That's the best title ever of all time. <laughs> oh, Up next, we've got some amazing Cyber Monday deals you don't want to miss. It's all in today's Guilt It List. Coming up.